Last time, then, um, Saga had... Well, last time we saw Saga, anyway. Uh, we uh, She had been battling with the uh, fallout of her encounter with a werewolf who seemed very uh, intent upon uh, trying to infect her with the lycanthropic curse, um, at least if legend is to be believed. And she received a bite wound from said werewolf, which created somewhat of a crisis for her as she contemplated her various options as to how it might impact the party and her future, not only as an individual, but also with Johan too, leaving a message for him. Um, and so she decided that she was going to leave the party behind in an attempt to find some answers to some questions. Uh, potentially about her future, who knows? Well, Saga does. Um, so, we pick up now with Saga alone in the foothills of the Sword Mountains, which lie to the south, as she ventures alone in the wilderness. So, Saga, what would you like to do? I'm looking for tracks, prints, I'm gonna follow those. Okay, can I get a survival check from you then please? Sure. 17. Nice. Um, so, uh, with very little effort you managed to locate some uh, tracks in the ground, uh, there's some soft earth, uh, plenty of paw prints to follow, um, not just belonging to one creature, but a number of, of creatures, you suspect, mm -hmm. uh, wolves in this particular instance, of course. Um, what would you like to do from there? Is there a difference between... Is there one paw print that's larger than normal wolf, or are they all just, like, standard wolf prints? Um... All at the moment, standard wolf prints, um, but eventually um, you do note that one set of prints does increase in size and uh, you suspect actually from looking at them, uh, not only increase in size, but actually rather than becoming a set of four paws, actually becomes a set of two. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense, because we... We saw the two-legged version. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a very awkward sentence, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Uh, okay. She's going to keep... She wants to get a good distance away mm -hmm. before she considers stopping. Okay. So an hour, a couple hours. All right. Um, which, yes, this this uh, is the dead of night, uh, probably mm -hmm. the early, early morning at this point. Mm -hmm. um, now, luckily, because um, you are human, so you don't have uh, dark vision, uh, mm -hmm. but luckily uh, there is the dim light of the full moon descending on the mm -hmm. hills, uh, which is keeping everything visible for you as you uh, carefully traverse the foothills, uh, trying to find a location where perhaps you can settle down for the evening. Um, which eventually you manage to find a little outcropping of rock um, in the hills, uh, which you think might be suitable for a camp. Okay. Good, good. Um, I'll camp up. Okay. Are you intending to build a fire to keep you warm? No. 
No fire. Mm, how cold does it get? Does it? Do I know if it gets freezing? Um, give me a survival check. <laughs> That's a two. Uh, all you know is you're high enough for the wind to be blowing pretty hard. Oh, okay. Mm. Well. <laughs> Shit, okay, this is what she'll, she's going to do. She's going to attempt not making one, and if it gets unbearable... Okay. She's going to gather the wood for one, but she's not going to light it yet. That's the smart thing to do. Okay. All right. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you spend a little bit of time gathering mm. some wood, getting yourself uh, set up uh, for camp, presumably then just bed rolls, etc. Yeah, um, just a bed roll. Because there's only a few hours left of the night anyway. Mm -hmm. You've been yeah. uh, up and about for a fair, fair bit of time. Mm -hmm. um, but in order to get the benefits of a long rest, because you have been up and about for a, a fair while... Mm -hmm. um, you are probably going to have to start a long rest all over again uh, to get the benefits, to get yep. your eight hours. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you obviously risk exhaustion uh, mm -hmm. the next day. Um, so is there anything that you wanted to do before you settle down for your long rest? She's doing a lot of thinking, but no, nothing. she's not going to... She's just... Thinking, agitated, but okay. no, she's not going to do anything. She's going to lie in her bedroll and try and see. Agitated in what way? She's just been bitten, Wayne. Well, I know. I just, you know, <laughs> we're soloing here. I'm trying to... <laughs> she is. <sighs> she doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. That situation where you're kind of staring at walls, going. What do I do now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anxious? Yeah. Sure. Not anxious, more defeated, but... And... Defeated, but worried. Sure. Like, trying to figure out... Trying to figure out a way out of this situation. And cannot come up with one right now. Okay. Um, so... Eventually, then, you settle down for the night mm -hmm. um, and take your long rest. So do please take the benefits of your long rest um, as best you can as you uh, awaken this, this next morning. Yep. So... The wind is still blowing quite hard in these hills, um, but uh, there is a, a fairly clear day otherwise, uh, which is good news indeed. Um, can I get a perception check from you, please? Mm, yes. My God. That's an unnatural one. An unnatural one? Yes. What's your perception score? Minus one! Oh, jeez. It's uh, a wisdom check. Okay. She, she, uh, she is not wise, Wayne. Well, reckless <laughs> is probably the appropriate uh, appropriate term. Um, yeah. Okay. So you awake and you awake that, the next morning. Those um, two dice are getting... Dice check. Fuck those. Yeah, they are getting... <laughs> you have betrayed me. Yet again. Um, so I'm trying um, different dice. That's oh. how desperate I am. I've I've got a different dice because I thought I have to. And you really have to must have me. upset Lady Luck in another life. <laughs> um, so um, yeah. So you wake up mm -hmm. oblivious to anything, really. Sole mm -hmm. focus being the day ahead of you and mm -hmm. uh, what you might have planned. Is there anything that you do have planned, Saga, for the day ahead? If 
follow those. What's uh, um, where whereabouts am I in relation to other places? Uh, so now that the uh, the sun is up and you've got mm-hmm. a better a better view, uh, you are in an outcropping of of rock, um, mm-hmm. a pile of of firewood uh, lying nearby, which you thankfully didn't uh, light during the night, mm-hmm. um, and to the east from where you are. Because uh, you can you can still get your bearings quite easily because you've got a view uh, to the north enough that you can just about make out the Tribor Trail headed from east to west. And if you look uh, to the west of your position, or maybe the northwest of your position, you can mm-hmm. just make out the town of Phandalin uh, further down the, the hillsides uh, where, where it kind of flattens out onto grassy plains. So it's quite easy for you to get your bearings from here. Mm-hmm. Um, to the east you can make out um probably about half a mile from where you are uh a small forest like a a copse perhaps of trees to the Mm -hmm. east how far is fandalin like how is that like a that's day, good. couple of hours. That is a good question. If you just bear with me, I can be very precise mm-hmm. in, uh, in answering that question. Um, so, Fandolin, from where you currently are, uh, is probably about, when you take into account the difficult terrain with the hills and things, mm-hmm. you're probably in the region of about a day's travel from Fandolin day's at travel. this point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's have a look at those prints again. Footprints. Well, tracks. Uh, first, you have to see if you can locate them. So, could I get a survival yep. check, please? Okay, come on. Come on. It's... That's better. That's a dirty 20. Okay, okay that dice can stay. That one can stay. So, you actually don't struggle to find these tracks at all mm-hmm. because you realise as you go, you begin to look for them that actually your entire camp is encircled with tracks. Mm-hmm. Fairly fresh-looking tracks, for that matter. Mm-hmm. And okay. they head away from your camp. Well... It's uh, first of all, uh, it looks as though they've come from the direction of the trees, encircled your camp, and then headed back to the trees. Interestingly, there's no sign of the larger tracks amongst them. Okay. Hmm. That is creepy. Uh, they've been watching me sleep. She's gonna gather her stuff. Mm-hmm. And walk. Stop, start following the tracks. Okay. So, these tracks do indeed head uh, toward that small copse of trees or large mm-hmm. copse of trees I suppose it's a large copse, small forest um, and um, they do head into the uh, rather uh, dimly lit forest uh, ahead uh, beneath the canopy of, of leaves and trees The closer I get to the trees, Mm -hmm. she's going to try, you know, she's going to stay alert, see if she can see anything, see anything moving. Okay. And is this um, as you're looking into the forest or as you're looking around you, where you are now? Well, at first she'd look around herself and then she'd look at the tracks. 
Okay. Uh, so give me a perception check first, a normal perception check first of all, uh, as mm -hmm. you're looking at the hills around you. Five. You don't see any threat amongst the hills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but then if you're going to look into the forest as well, because the forest is dimly lit because of the canopy, yep. uh, I am going to need a perception check with disadvantage, please. Why do I feel like I'm going to walk into a tree because my rolls are so bad? <laughs> Three. Six. Uh, no, no. Um, let me check what the modifier was. Yeah, six. Okay. You also see no threat within the forest. <laughs> Only... It's gonna smack me in the face in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Only... <laughs> Ord footprints leading mm -hmm. into it. Yeah. She's like gonna to walk. She's she's not gonna sneak, but she's also not like marching in. She's just gonna walk towards, like slowly walk towards. Okay. So, you step forward and move mm -hmm. into the forest, uh, leaving the hills behind as you make your way into the dimly lit woods in front of you. You are keeping a watch out, presumably, for any sign of anything. Yep. So could I get another perception check from you, please, <laughs> with disadvantage because of the dim light? Unless, of course, you have any torch or anything that you want to light to... Give I don't a have, a uh, let's go have a torch. Then it's going to have a torch. Quick check of my inventory. Don't think I have. That's good to check. <gasps> I do have a torch. It's an option. Want... I'm just putting it out mm -hmm. there in case you wanted to roll without disadvantage. But, of course, lighting a torch also. Yeah. <laughs> The light works both ways. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> she's... I think she's too defeated. So she's not gonna... Let's go with five. <laughs> well, that was your result of your check with disadvantage? Yep. Five. You see no sign of any threats amongst the trees. <laughs> Until suddenly she walks into a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> what so as you're just mm -hmm. walking through at this point looking around yep. trying to keep an eye out mm -hmm. no sign mm -hmm. of any threats or anything at the moment anything else you'd like yep. to do since I haven't heard anything or seen anything she's just gonna keep walking through and following the tracks mm -hmm. okay could I get another survival check from you, please? Survival? Okay. Yes, please. Just to see if you manage to keep with the tracks. <sighs> Six! Oh, dear. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to walk off a cliff, aren't I? <laughs> As you're moving through the forest, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker as mm -hmm. you as you get deeper, and um, eventually you begin yep. to lose sight of the tracks. Not only mm -hmm. have you lost sight of the tracks, but you're also feeling very disoriented. What would you like to do? Is there a path I'm following, or am I just in the thick of wood? Like, is there any sort of path anywhere? Not really. These uh, oh. these woods are very wild. Mm -hmm. And you've kind of found yourself caught in the mm -hmm. undergrowth of it all. <sighs> okay. Just going to take like a dagger or a, she has a dagger so or a knife 
mm-hmm. hunting. I'm sure she has a hunting knife of some sort. And she's going to carve like an arrow in a tree where she is now. Okay. And then she's going to take a few steps back. Okay. Just so, to like, try and, try and in her. case she goes around in a circle, she'll know, kind of know where she got lost first. Okay. And is this so something that, that she's continuing to do, or is this just a kind of marker for that location? Marker for that location. Okay. Because she was like, I knew where I was going until now. Now is when I, now you've like, suddenly, gone. yeah. Now when I know I'm lost, lost. So I'm going to backtrack a little, like... Okay. Fifth, like... Start slowly backtracking, see if I can find the prints again. Sure. Could I get a perception check from you, please? With... is that with disadvantage again? Oh yes, with disadvantage, thank you. I should just roll straight, but I'm too honest. It's an unnatural one. That's two now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's very emotional. Mm. <laughs> Day's getting to her. Yeah. Her neck hurts. Yeah, I'm going to go with her neck hurts if it doesn't <laughs> feel well. That's what we're going for. All right. Okay. Um, so... Um, as you are trying to um, gain your bearings, regain your bearings, mm-hmm. um, suddenly something leaps out of the trees uh, towards okay. you. Uh, two creatures, in fact, two wolves, mm-hmm. which are mm-hmm. going to take you by surprise as we roll okay. some initiative. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> 15. All right, so you're on 15. The wolves mm-hmm. are on... Well, uh, you win the initiative uh, because mm-hmm. the wolves are on five. Um, but, as I say, they are going to catch you off guard and surprise mm-hmm. you um, mm-hmm. as they very much snuck up on you. Um, mm-hmm. So, wolves benefit from pack tactics, which means that they do get advantage uh, mm-hmm. against a creature if at least one of their allies is within five feet of you and aren't is, they aren't incapacitated. Mm-hmm. So because they've taken you by surprise, I'm going to say that they are. Uh, so they are going to be attacking with advantage against you as they try and okay. bite yeah. you. So you're going to get two attacks, one from each wolf, both a bite attack. So, the first wolf. Uh, oh, dear. That was a natural 20. Okay. Um, Obviously hits. Yeah. Uh, so, the first bite, then, is going to be... Uh, yeesh. 11 points of piercing damage. Okay, I've got those... I've got... I've got some temporary hit points, so those go. Yes. Um, so that is... I know. Okay. All right. Um, I'm also going to need you to make a strength saving throw, please. Okay. Now this should be your forte, Saga. So <laughs> should. <laughs> Twelve. So middling. Uh, all right. This this oh. wolf, um, as it takes a bite out of you, tries to leap yep. up at you, and, um, yep. and tries to pin you to the ground, mm-hmm. but. It is not enough to knock you prone. Whew. But that's only the first wolf's attack. Yeah. The yeah. second wolf's attack. Okay. A little better, but I think we're still dealing with a hit here. That's going to be 20 against your armor class. 
not a non-natural yep. 20. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking there at, yikes, six piercing damage. <laughs> and I need to make another strength saving throw, please. Okay. Whew. Right. That one, that dice. Mm. Okay, 21. Okay, nice. All right. Um, so again, this wolf Ooh. tries to leap up at you and try to pin you down. Uh, but yeah. again, you you at least manage, though you're taking these bites and the, mm. you know their teeth are piercing your skin um, and your arms. Uh, you're like your bare arms where you've got mm. less armor and stuff. Um, you're at least grounded enough to be able to hold your ground and not be yeah. pinned down by these wolves, which is good at least. Um, so that brings us to the end of round one, uh, which was the mm -hmm. surprise round. And as you have initiative 15, you are up next. So okay. what would you like to do in response? There's two of the um, wolves. I'm guessing they're both engaged with me. Yes. Okay. Which is what's giving them the advantage mm -hmm. at the moment. So. We're going to use my great sword. Okay. Um, and hopefully once I hit, I'll use some maneuvers as well. But let's attack first. Fuck's sake. Nine! Okay, that's so scary. I'm scared. Uh, action surge. I'm gonna use ac All right. action surge. Yeah, that first swing of the sword, as you can guess, uh, wasn't Ooh. even enough to land even a glancing blow. Never mind mm -hmm. an actual hit. All right, action surge to take another attack action with your great sword, I presume. Yep. <sighs> okay, much better. Twenty-three. Oh, much, much better. Um, all right. Roll to hit for... Uh, sorry, roll damage for me on that. And with that, I'm yes. going to use... Mm. Goading attack because it increases damage. Damage and the target must make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, all right. Um, Not that it matters because I don't have um, I don't have uh, my allies with me, but it will at least increase the damage. Okay. Um. So the wisdom saving throw is a moot point, is it? Yeah, it's a moot point because right. it's I uh, would give it disadvantage okay. on attacking anyone but me. Oh, right. Yeah. I needed. <laughs> yeah, so. Let me just find my. That's a D8. Uh, da, 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 da. First for. Normal damage is 13 plus. So 16. 16 points of damage. How are you taking out that first wolf? <laughs> um. Just, uh, I just straight through the side, like from oh. here, like through goes the there. Ribs and yeah, it, well, through the ribs. Certainly puncturing a few vital organs in that wolf <laughs> for sure, as it drops to the ground, leaving you uh, face to face with Whew. only one remaining wolf. Yep. Anything else for you, or is that you done? That is, that's all I can do. Okay. The wolf, then, is first going to try and take a bite out of you. It doesn't do so with advantage this time, because his mm -hmm. friend is no longer with us. Um, okay. I think this might be a miss. That's a 14 against your armor class. Does not hit. Wonderful. Okay. Um, so, it tries to take a, a bite out of you. And uh, this time you see it coming somewhat and sidestep away. Um, 
And now the wolf is going to begin to try and flee, moving at 40 mm -hmm. feet. But that will provoke an attack of opportunity because it's yep. not going to uh, disengage because it's already used its action yep. to attack you. So if you did mm -hmm. want to take an attack of opportunity, you are welcome to do so. Definitely, definitely okay. taking an attack of opportunity. All right. Roll to hit. Try and pin, try and pin me down. How dare you? <laughs> 19. Uh, will hit. Yes. Roll for damage for me. Nine. Nine points of damage. All right. Um, you strike at the uh, back of this wolf, which mm -hmm. is not enough to take it down. It looks to be in a pretty critical condition, but it does mm -hmm. continue uh, to move now 40 feet away from you at this mm -hmm. point. Uh, but it is now your go as we reach the top of round three. So what would you like to do? Have So it got away. F is it 40 feet away? From 40 me? feet away from you, yeah. And it's looking in crossbow condition. All I'm right. going to try and shoot it with my crossbow. Go for it. Uh, roll to hit for me then, please. That's not going to hit. Nine. No, I'm afraid not. Uh, your crossbow bolt flies into mm. the uh, into the foliage around you. Uh, mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to do? Make note of what direction it's running. Okay. Anything else? You do still have movement, mm. potentially, uh, or a bonus action, obviously, if you have anything that grants you one. No. Okay. All I'm right. just going to be pissed. <laughs> Take a moment to just be like, I'm having the worst day, literally. Okay. Yesterday was a bad day. <laughs> Today's a bad day. <laughs> uh, so you're just letting the wolf go at this point, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. In which case, then? But I do make note of which direction it ran. Oh, I'm like, okay, course. that's where you went. But of course. Okay. Uh, which then, in that case, then will bring it out of initiative, mm -hmm. leaving you once again, uh, as far as you're aware, alone in the forest around you. Mm -hmm. uh, making note of the direction that the wolf went in. Again, you're pretty disoriented. Or orient mm -hmm. Disoriented. That's right. Um, yep. So you might not necessarily know the precise, like, north, south, east, west. Yeah. But you can certainly know, relative to where you are, what direction yeah. you're headed in. Okay. I want to look at this wolf I killed. Mm -hmm. I'm basically trying to figure out if it's a real wolf or if it's a werewolf. Sure. Give me a nature check, please. I don't know which ties to pick. This is so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea how stressful it is. To... <laughs> Nature. Or, if you prefer, you can do that as an arcana check if you have any affinity for arcana. Uh, they're both the same. Okay. Ooh! That is a dirty 20. Okay. Well, if legends are to be believed, mm. um, your understanding is that if it were a werewolf, it would have transformed back into its humanoid form rather than well, remaining a wolf. Okay. But this so it would have... <laughs> still appears to be a wolf. Okay. Hmm. Does the corpse look domesticated in any way? Mm, no. 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 Looks pretty wild. Mm hmm. Okay. She's going to take her hunting knife out again. Okay. And mark the trees. So she knows that way is where the wolf fleed. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what she's going to do. Okay. And are you following that direction? 
first, I'm going to look around and check if the commotion, the sound, if it's, you know, gotten anyone else's attention. Okay. Can I get a perception check from you? then? <laughs> is that a disadvantage? I'm afraid to ask. Yes, yes it is. Six. Uh, you see no signs that uh, <laughs> that skirmish has uh, created any awareness to your position or commotion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now the question is, do I go where the wild wolves went or elsewhere? I'm completely lost. I'm completely lost. <laughs> I'm completely lost in the woods. I don't like it. Oh. I really don't like it. Uh, gonna dig through my inventory for 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 inspiration of some <laughs> sorts. Um, Saga just rummaging around in her backpack mm, in the middle of the forest. Yeah, yeah. It's, this is this is a. Uh, a moment of desperation. Question is, does she find anything? Uh, no. Well, she finds something she can use later. So it wasn't in vain. Um... She's going to slowly walk towards where the wolves ran, just because maybe they'll run into a clearing or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's hoping it gets her out of this spot where she's kind of stuck. Sure. Uh, So, you venture uh, along the Mm -hmm. route direction that the wild wolf ran in. Um, and you do see what looks to be some sort of trail of some kind Um, not a well trodden one by any Mm -hmm. means uh, but certainly uh, enough that some wildlife of some kind has created this trail Uh, Mm -hmm. could I get a survival check from you please with advantage wow so kind yeah I know gotta show benevolence occasionally you know (laughs) That is, uh, the subtext is, you're doing so crappily, you need a hand. <laughs> that will be a 17. Much better. Um, yeah. So, you do manage to then pick up uh, some mm-hmm. tracks, uh, not just of a singular wolf, as you were expecting, but actually mm-hmm. a number of paw prints, yeah. uh, including the larger paw print that you had encountered previously. Got you, yeah. I'm going to follow the larger ones. Okay. You follow the path for what seems like a fair amount of time. And eventually, the tracks bring you to a clearing Mm -hmm. in the forest. Uh, A clearing full of a number of wolves maybe mm-hmm. 10 maybe even 20 wolves yep um and at the far end of this clearing you can see made out of twisted tree branches uh, what can only be described as a throne upon which sits a very familiar figure and face to you Mm-hmm. Drial Bonebreaker, your husband. So that's it for another exciting episode of Bardic Quest. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Before we go, I just wanted to take a quick moment to say thank you to a couple of folks. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to James Webster for providing us with and allowing us to use this beautiful animated artwork that features throughout the show. If you are a fan of his work and want to show your support to him, 
then head on over to patreon.com forward slash James RPG Art where you can become a patron of his. But also I'd like to say a big thank you to our friends over at Sirenscape for allowing us to use their wonderful ambience, music and sound effects. So if you'd like to introduce those sounds to your table, head on over to sirenscape.com to check out their amazing work. So that's it from us this week and we will catch you next time. Yeah.